Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about high key versus low key images. Now basically what a quick definition of those two things would be is uh, low key would be when you kind of have a bright subject and a very dark background and a high key would be when you have your subject exposed and the background is almost completely blown out to a almost completely white, okay? So I'm gonna show you two images uh, really quickly. Uh, this one here is what you would consider a low key image. And then this one here is what you would consider a high key image. So we're gonna go over how to do both of these in Lightroom, how to shoot for them, and then how to process them in post to get the most out of these sort of dramatic stylized looks. All right, so let's just get started, jump right into Lightroom, let's go. All right, so here we are in Lightroom, everybody. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on both these photos, this one and this one. These are the two starting points. So this one we're gonna turn into a low key. This one we're gonna turn into high key. Basically, the first thing that we're gonna do is go into lens corrections and enable profiles. I'm gonna crop this. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get rid of these distracting sort of uh, highlight elements here in the photo just to start off with before I get too carried away. These sort of, I think these were extra birds in the, in the water here. Let's just go to the basics tab and we're gonna drop the highlights here just a little bit so we can get some detail back in the feathers here. So basically this was an overcast day and I think that's one thing I wanna point out really quickly is on an overcast day, you're gonna get this nice soft light on your subject and everything around it. And I think that helps for the exposure. And if you have the opportunity to go out and shoot on an overcast day, it'll give you like this nice neutral tone over everything that'll really help you achieve these looks a little bit better, okay? So back in here, um, let's hold down Alt and bring up the whites a little bit so we just get just that white on the bird showing up without clipping. And then bring the blacks down just to about there. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do here is bring up my colors a little bit and the vibrance and add a touch of saturation. Bring down the color temperature a little bit. Make it a little bit bluer. Okay, that's looking pretty good to start. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is go down to the detail tab and we're gonna do a sharpening mask. And basically, by default, Lightroom sharpens everything, but we only want the bird sharp because there's some noise in the background. See all that grain around the bird? That's noise, and we don't want that. So we're gonna just mask it out until we're only getting the bird. But you don't wanna go too far because then you're losing some of the detail in the feathers. So right about there should be good. I'm gonna bring up the sharpening bring up the noise reduction just a slight bit, but we're gonna get rid of the noise even more as we go forward. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a luminance mask. So I'm gonna grab the brush tool, I'm gonna hit the O key for an overlay so I can see that I'm getting everything to paint the whole thing here. And then go down to the range mask, luminance, show the mask, drop this, or I'm sorry, we're gonna to need to um, bring this down just so we're just getting the dark areas and not much of the bird. Maybe just a tiny, tiny little bit of the shadow of the bird there probably. Okay, that looks about right. Turn off the luminance mask uh, overlay there. And now we're just gonna bring down the shadows and bring down the exposure and see it's only adjusting what I masked out there. So we're gonna bring that down and see how it's already starting to pop a lot there. That's exactly what we want. So another thing I'm gonna do is just bring down the texture and bring up the noise reduction on that because it's only affecting the background area there. And that gets rid of a lot more of that noise and just makes the background a lot more clean, right? Okay, now I'm gonna click new we're gonna do another one that's just on the bird here. I'm gonna click O so I can see what I'm doing. Just gonna paint over the bird. Another luminance mask, go down to range mask, luminance. And bring that there. 
just want this guy here. All right. Uncheck the box, come up. We're gonna lift the shadows on him a little bit and maybe even bring up the exposure a little bit, bring down the highlights, bring up the texture, bring up the clarity just to make those feathers pop a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, this area right here in his face is kind of dark and I wanna bring that up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna click O on the brush tool and we're gonna paint in the beak here because it's kind of dark and I don't want it to completely disappear against the background. I'm gonna just kind of paint in his beak. And then we're going to adjust the levels on the beak here. Turn that off and bring up the shadows, bring up the exposure a little bit. Not too much though, because you don't want it to look funky. Okay, that just, just about that. And then I'm gonna bring out his eye a little bit. So, shadows and the exposure a little bit, not too much, because you don't want to look like a freaking zombie, right? So just right about there, and that should be good. The next thing we're gonna do here is just to really even get rid of this, um, or you know, make the background even darker, we're gonna use a radial filter here, and kind of, since the sun is kind of coming from above him, um, I want to kind of accentuate that light. And we're gonna make it dark all around the bird here. Bring it down, bring it down, and cool it off even more a little bit too, because I like that nice, cool green look. Done. Now we're gonna even do more with some great uh, graduated filters. Bring that down just ever so slightly. And that looks good. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a vignette, not much. And then roundness, feather it. Boom, there you go, how's that? That's where we started, that's where we ended. Pretty cool, right? So that's how you make a low key image when you really wanna bring out your, your subject and make them really stand out from a dark background. That's the way to do that, okay? So the next one we're gonna do is High key. So let's go over to our little eared grebe here. This is a cool little bird. He was hanging out in the marsh. Now you can see this is very just even tone. It's it's just sort of gray, bland, blah. What we're gonna do here is our usual corrections and cropping. All right, and then let's get rid of some distracting elements in the frame here to make it look nice and clean. Bear with me while I get rid of these spots. I'm just using the spot removal tool and this will just help draw the eye to the subject and you won't have any of these little uh, specks in the, in the frame anywhere leading the eye away from our lovely little grebe subject here. And I think I got them all there. Okay, so we're gonna go up to the basic corrections here, and we're actually gonna bring up the exposure a little bit, and then bring up the shadows a little bit, but not too much, you don't wanna bring up the shadows too much, just a little bit, just to expose his, his face and feathers there a little bit more. Now, I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and bring up the whites, just until you start to see it clip right there, and then back it off till I don't see anything. Okay, so now look how white this is, right? And then blacks, I'm just gonna walk this one in by eye because I don't wanna, I don't wanna crush it, you know? Um, so I'm just gonna bring that down to about there where there's some nice contrast in the feathers and the neck and on his back and in the water here, right? Now we can add some color back into this. It's a little, it's a little lifeless. So we can bring up the color quite a bit and I'm gonna just cool it off a little bit. Bring up that vibrance and um, and you know what? One thing I want to do here is also let's let's do the eyeball. 
Because the eye is one of the most important parts of your shot. So you want the eye sharp, but you also kind of want it to stand out a little bit, not too much. You don't want them to look like, like I said earlier, a zombie bird, where you have that glowing eye. Some people kind of have a tendency to overdo it. I've overdone it a few times too, but all right, let's see here. Uh, oops, see, you'll get zombie bird. Just a little bit, we're gonna warm it up a little bit and actually make it a little bit more red because it was a little bit reddish. They have these very red eyes. And I'm gonna do another little one over the pupil here and just do a dehaze to get rid of any hazing that's going on over the pupil to make it stand out. There we go, that looks natural, right? That is pretty much it. I think I'm gonna bring up some texture here, clarity, just to make the feathers kind of stand out. Oh, let's do our sharpening mask, even though there's not really much to worry about here. And I don't wanna over sharpen it. Yeah, I see he's starting to look a little weird. And then, let's go here and let's just, there's a little bit of blue here. You guys probably can't see it on YouTube, but I'm gonna just completely drop that. I don't know if you see that blue, it's very faint. I don't want any blue. I want it to be white. Okay, so there we go. And that's it. I mean, I'm not gonna do a vignette or anything like that because that really shows up heavy on this white. You just kind of want your bird to be standing out in this nice white, completely white background here. There's a little bit of texture in the water, which is nice. But other than that, there's our little eared grebe. That's where we started, that's where we ended. So there you have it guys, low key and high key images. That's how it's done in Lightroom. Go practice it, get some bangers, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>